You're watching Plus Politics on Plus TV Africa and joining us uh, in our conversation this evening is Obi Ajebo, a legal practitioner. Thank you very much for it's joining us. All right, let's just get you talking. Mm. What's your reaction to the judgment in the light of the CJN's comment just yesterday? Well, I was very happy when I read when I heard the CJS comment, comment because it, it's good to respect the judges and it's good to respect their their judgments and their orders. That gives the common man a hope. But let us see if how far it will be carried out by the CJS and how far the orders will be obeyed by the executive. Now, do you suspect there might be a repeat scenario? I, I put that same question to um, Mr. Tunji when I spoke with him earlier. Do you suspect a repeat of what we have with Dasuki and other um, detainees currently in government An custody? optimist we say no. But um, a factual person with the, with the antecedents will ask you, does the leopard change his skin? The <laughs> leopard doesn't change his skin. Okay, uh, let, let's Is look at the, uh, no, that's not what he said. In a same form. Uh, yeah, I in a roundabout uh, way, but not in the same not, uh, words. Uh, yes. Not okay, let's look at the scenario. That was where we were before mm. you joined us. I was talking about the entire process itself. Um, Showeries, arrest, detention, mm. and subsequent uh, day in court, and now he's been released. Mm. Would you say that there's something not quite right about the process that we have seen. Does it infringe on the fundamental freedom of expression uh, in light of the treasonable felony charges? First of all, I took time to dissect the charges they have, cyber stalking, treason, and everything. What action has it done to constitute it into a treason? He's just telling people, come out and let's go for a walk. Let us protest. And he deliberately used revolution. So what action has he done? The whole process is skewed. And what I see is the government says, this is a guy, we don't want him to have this, we don't have him, want him to have this walk. Let us just keep him in the cooler. All right. Let's look at his incarceration. Um, just the other day, we had the news that he allegedly he's been um, maltreated, so to speak. At some point, he was uh, food was he didn't he wasn't given food at the early stages of his incarceration, and then we heard that he didn't have access to his family. There was no phone uh, phone call, just basically uh, ill treatment. Does our system, I mean the DSS? and the way they've handled this case, especially with allegations that they maltreated Shawari, is it the way to go? Are they creating a monster? Let me bring that question to you. I, I think, uh, you know, the, it's, it's, it's a one-sided story. Just like you said, I like the way you put it, allegation that he was being maltreated. It may be so, it may, be not, it may not be so, but the DSS has not come out to say no. So, and in law, we say the. Uh, when you didn't counterfeit, uh, counterfeit my, 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 my position, it, it is deemed that you have admitted my, my point. So I, I think uh, it is not proper for anybody to be detained and be punished or tortured for any, any, anything. It could be a breach of his fundamental human right for him to be. The fact that you have been suspected of committing a crime does not make you a criminal until you are proven guilty. It is clear in our constitution. Everybody is presumed innocent until the contrary is proof. So the, the, the issue of uh, being tortured or whatever should not even uh, 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 arise. And if that is the truth, that, that is unfortunate and it's not proper. It's a breach of his fundamental morality. <laughs> okay, let me come to you with a question about the experience that Shawari has had. Will it change his behavior or the way he approaches issues of governance that he's dissatisfied with in this country? No, it will further, it will further, it will, it will make and him more hardened. Why, why would he? Some would expect, some would say, uh, some have actually argued that this is government's way of clipping his wings and making him realize the magnanimity, the magnanimity of what he is trying to do. It will not say, Showare has always been a fighter. Sometimes his ways, are, I don't understand his ways, but he's, he's always been a fighter. I'll be, I'll be dumbfounded if after this he, he keeps quiet. 
very, very dumbfounded. Do you share the same opinion? Yeah, I think, I think it, in fact, it will make him more popular. It will make him believe that uh, he's, a, he's now a popular man. Mm. He's now been a, In fact, to me, the government is making him more, more popular, more relevant in the society. As far as I'm concerned, they are making him more important. He, uh, he will also feel important now because uh, uh, everybody is talking about him now, both locally and internationally. So he's, he's more important. So with that, he won't want to... You see him leveraging he on his... Say, I'm now a big man. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's also look at the bigger picture. Again, uh, some persons have said the treatment of Shawari, somebody, you know, um, uh, the, somebody that speaks against the government automatically becomes a victim. Not just Shawari. His case is because of the revolution now. Mm -hmm. But we know of journalists that have spoken out or maybe divulged certain information that are being held at this moment and they're yet to be released. Do you see this experience stopping Nigerians from criticizing activities of government, constructively or otherwise? There are some die-hard people that their main aim is just to do things and see some changes. If a person is a die-hard person, the person will not change. But if a person is uh, what I'll call Mugbo Muya, I heard and I came to participate, the person will not smell it. But for the likes of Showare, Showare wants to be like a Ghani Fawami, our fellow Kuti. Is it possible? Has he done enough to, uh, you know, get that kind of um, respect? No, he's just, he's just starting. He hasn't even gone to, uh, he hasn't spent uh, much time in prison as Ghani mm -hmm. and exactly. Well, but, but Shoinka was quoted uh, recently um, after the new charges came up uh, as saying that, I mean, as welcoming Showare to the club of those who are being oppressed, uh, would you say Showare has been oppressed in this instance? Every Nigerian has face, uh, faces uh, one uh, oppression or the other in the country, whether, whether by way of uh, detention, whether by way of uh, lack of provision of uh, uh, amenities or facilities or whatever that we are into. A situation whereby you will, be, you will be on the road, you are driving on your car, somebody will come, those who call our, our leader, who come and push you off the road because they are already they are going somewhere then they that's oppression so everybody get oppressed every day and I, i'm not surprised if uh, any Jalingo is in detention what is it what, what, what was his offense he criticized the government for for uh, uh, marking 500 million or so for a particular project and he asked questions about the project where is the project he's in detention now he's being charged for is it terrorism or whatever i don't know how that, that, that relates He's been kept in in, in, in communicado and nobody is talking. In, you in know, your opinion, we, the, are we... the oppression has been on for so many times. The the security agency in Nigeria, you just pick you. It should have to do with a banker, customer relationship. They come and pick you up and say you, you, they, are, they, are, they are obtaining money by false pretense, by way of you know. So many kind of oppression in this country. They, they, they argue their their arguments that it seems to be at a heightened level in a democracy, particularly in this administration. Would you subscribe to the school of thought that is trying to push the argument that the Buhari's administration is sliding towards dictatorship with what we have, the incarcerations you've mentioned? Looking at the antecedent of what has been happening and look at the kind of uh, people that have been detained and without being released, because even uh, our AGF was, was proud to say before the National Assembly that I deliberately disobeyed court order. That is to tell you that the government does not care about rule of law. That is, that is the essence. He, you know, and then you look at uh, Dasuki, so many times I've been, he, has, he has been asked to be released. He's still there, uh, Sakisaki, the same thing. So many other citizens in the country who are not even know to these people. I don't, I don't see how demonstration or protest will be a, 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 an offense, well, provided it's not violence. In fact, it's already has not even said it's a, a protest. He was just planning to do a protest and being picked up and they are saying it's tyranny or, 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 or whatever. I don't get it. I, I, I want to ask you this question. Do you think that our judiciary has a lot more work to do when it comes to um, maybe ensuring that court orders are obeyed, coming from the background of yesterday where the ECJN made that statement? Do they have more work to do, or is it enough to just say these things that we will not tolerate? But it happens. Now, let me ask you a question. If a judge gives an order, and he's giving the order repeatedly, and the executive says no, 
will the judge go and flog the executive? So why would that same government that has flouted, is there no mechanism that the judiciary can engage in to ensure that these, because, because the same government still brings ca bring cases exactly. to the judiciary to litigate. Exactly. So if they, can't they use that as a mechanism to ensure that if they can say, I, I don't know. You, that, you, that's exactly what I wanted to say. Yeah. I want to say the judiciary can do more they, by, to assert their authority. If I give an order against a, a, a government and the executive fails to obey the, 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 the order, they will come back to court for other cases. Other cases. So I will order my, judge, my, my judges not to try, not, not, to, not, not to take the cases. That that is, where, that, but the issue is that they will suffer financially. That is, that that is, is where, where the problem is. You have a united judiciary. Uh, yeah. yeah. You have a judiciary. No, the, the, the question is do, can we, can't judiciary do more? They can, they can I, either, they can either st uh, say no, they can go on strike. They can say they're not going to do this until this happens, but that is that would be the end of it. That would be the last, last thing. Sorry, mean don't, that we are just talking. No, just like the CGN said yesterday, that uh, lack of uh, financial autonomy is another issue. It's a major yes. issue because uh, if you are in, or at the mercy of somebody, mm. there is no way you can challenge that person because you are at, at their mercy. And some of these judges are afraid that if you do this or that, they may pick us up or even remove us. Mm. And that will be all. Well, I remember the last uh, conference we had, a teacher of a particular state was there, and he was asking to a question. You know what he said? Not, was not, she was not even caused. He was the one who, who said he wants, he wants to say something to, in response to what somebody has, has said. He said, uh, you people said uh, we, are we should not be timid. Do you expect us to be fighting? I'm quoting her. People will feed us. So that, that brings me to the... Do you get it? The, that, yeah, that's mentality. Uh, so the, 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 fear of, the fear of I might be released, uh, I might be removed, the fear of I might be sacked, the fear of and I may not be able to eat. Look at the humiliation they all felt when the, the houses were raided. And I heard that Justice Zungota has now been reabsorbed back into the, yeah, yeah, uh, into the Supreme Court. So how would he feel looking at somebody that has a corruption case and the, and the uh, DSSS of who was it, DSSS or EFCC of who, that came to arrest him saying that he's corrupt and then now he's facing a corruption case. Do if, you understand? If, if, if we're saying all of this, mm. doesn't it mean, I mean literally from um, uh, a layman's point of view from where I'm sitting, that the judiciary is not independent, contrary to assertions. Until the judiciary has financial autonomy. If they know that their salary is is not dependent on, on, on their to mm. knowing to a gov government, then we can start talking about serious independence. So how can we achieve that independence? Let them fight for it. Let them fight for it. The CJN has made it one of its core points, Let, and since he's a, since he's he's from the same um, area as the mm. Mr. President, <laughs> maybe that will work. Maybe they will speak their Fulani language and it will work. <laughs> you seem to that, is, that, is, that, is, that is sentiment there. You know, you know, I don't want to go in that line. Okay. I, mean, I want to say that they can do more. Not only the judges are who fight for it. The NBA will also have to join them in fighting. The society will also have to join them in making their efforts and, 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 say, and, and say, look, our judges should be made uh, more comfortable. They should be made more independent. This has, you know, you compare the judges to the National Assembly member. You compare the judges to the ministers. Compare the judges to the other uh, uh, members of the, of the executive. They are, they are far, far, far different. And then you see, we have those three arms of government. These arms are independent. We have the executive. We have the judiciary. We have the. They are both. As far as I'm concerned, they are both equal. Uh, they are all uh, equal. And then they be putting one ahead of another. National Assembly get their money from a fourth line charge direct. They, are, they can even buy. That's why they can say they want to buy a car of uh, what uh, 50, 50 million, 50 million yeah. per, per per person. And they, they were saying it's an insult for us to say why are they buying 50 million billion million dollar uh, billion, 5 .5, uh, 50 cars. Uh, 5 billion dollar cars. And they, when they, when minimum wage of 30,000 is still being disputed. And has not been paid, and then you know the sensitivity. You know the, the, the that statement by the by the by the Senate, is, to me, is a confirmation of the mindsets of those who put him in, 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 power, in position of authorities. They see themselves as alpha and omega. They see themselves as we are in charge. We our own interests should be protected first. Well, after our protecting our own interests, you people can go to wherever you want to get whatever. I that's, should not be so. That's, that's they should a be sad the one. Narrative. They should be the one acting like our servants. We are the master. They are they replace, they, 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 they well, in they replace an El Dorado situation, well, just um, to round off this uh, segment of, of the show, I want to ask um, the Soares case. It, in your opinion, I'll come to you, is this the end? Or do you see further developments as the day? In, in a normal climate, I would say it should be the end. 
but Nigeria has its own way of interpreting court orders. So in that case, I, I would not hold my breath to say it's not going to be the end. Because they um, have, have we heard anything? The order was given today. At least by now, it's almost evening. We should have heard the case, oh, we've caught in the court order served on us, and we are making arrangements to release him. How about you, sir? Yeah, I, I think I, it should be released. But I will not be surprised if it's not released. But I, I, I think before the end of the week or at you most... You are next, really a lawyer. Next I don't want week, to next, 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 <laughs> next week, it will, no, what they will do, what, I th what I'm thinking, in my opinion, is that it will, the, that, will, that will not be the end of the, end of the case. Mm -hmm. It will be charged with that uh, uh, yeah, information. Yeah. And then when he's charged, then they will not be fighting for his uh, application for bail. Because uh, once he's charged again, he's arraigned again, there will be need for him to apply for, uh, for bail. And the court will not determine whether or not it should be granted bail or it should not be granted bail. So that one will also be there. Until that one is then after the termination of that one, they will, whether it's granted bail or not, trial will want to continue. They, like I said earlier, they just want to keep him there and, and, and uh, ensure that uh, there is no any disturbance from uh, showery, which I Thank believe you. may not even uh, achieve the, uh, the aim of the day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us. I'll be right back with you. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Of course, thank you for staying with us thus far. We'll take a short break, and when we come back, we'll be talking about the emerging 2023 election campaigns. Do stay with us. <laughs>